or whether it was him complaining about being a victim. And South Carolinians deserve the right to be able to vote, as do the other. And what happened the night of New Hampshire was quite something. Donald Trump became completely unhinged. He had a temper tantrum on stage. He went off about revenge and my dress. <laughs> the next day, he goes and says anybody that supports her is barred permanently from MAGA. But the problem with that is, if you're running for president, your job is to bring people in, not push people away from your club. Then he goes the next day and tries to push the RNC to name him the presumptive nominee. Now, we don't anoint kings in America. We have elections. And South Carolinians deserve the right to be able to vote, as do the other states. Then there were a couple more judgments that came down against him, and he's been talking about how he's a victim. <laughs> Now, the one thing that bothered me the most about whether it was the night of New Hampshire or whether it was him complaining about being a victim, at no point did he ever talk about the American people. At no point did he talk about us being $34 trillion in debt. At no point did he talk about the fact that only 31% of eighth graders in our country are proficient in reading. At no point did he talk about the completely open border. At no point did he talk about the lawlessness in our cities. And at no point did he talk about the wars around the world. All he did was talk about himself. And the problem is, this isn't about him. It's about the American people. Did he talk about us being $34 trillion in debt? At no point did he talk from your club. Then he goes to the next other states. Then there were a couple more judgments that came. Now, we don't anoint kings in America. We have elections.